Hey everybody, Scott Sprites here, DocSports.com with our update for Sunday, June 9th, 2019. Got a free pick coming up in just a moment. First, a quick note, if you have yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, it's a real cool way to give it a trial run. You simply click on the link below the video, get yourself set up for a free $60 account, which you can use on any of my daily packages or anybody else for that matter over at DocSports.com. Again, it's a real easy way to give it a trial run. Click on the link below the video and get set up for a free $60 account. Um, mixed reviews for us yesterday. We won in baseball, a nice two and one day. Uh, unfortunately, had our first bad day in UFC since we started posting these plays. Our fight picks over at DocSports.com a year ago. I went 0-2 and, and lost the top play. Uh, didn't expect what happened with Cejudo getting the win. Uh, we thought it was going to be the other way around. And how about that line? We saw a major line move on Saturday leading up, well, two different line moves leading up to the fight as we saw a situation where the chalk, which we were on, at about a dollar thirty, go all the way up to as high as a minus 180 favorite. I saw at one point, might have even gone higher than that during the course of the day. And then we saw action coming back in on Cejudo as it got closer to fight time. He went on to get the win. So a tough 0 2 day for us in the fight game over at uh, DocSports.com. Our first tough night going all the way back to last year. We started uh, posting our fight picks. We will be in UFC action again next weekend. Those picks will be posted on Friday night, no later than 11 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Pacific next week. Next Friday for Saturday's card, we look to bounce back and right back on track. Hey, listen, we were up over $4,000 for $100 per unit betters uh, going into this past Saturday night UFC 238 card. Unfortunately, it happens sometimes, and we'll look to bounce right back next weekend. As far as baseball, nice two in one day. We've got two more baseball plays for Sunday on the same report, both available over at DocSports.com at 1130 a.m. Eastern time on Sunday. And again, a pair of plays included a daytime underdog. Don't miss out on that. It's available right now. The chalk play that I have on Sunday is actually backed by a couple of 100% winning spots, and all of that is revealed inside my analysis. Check that out Sunday morning. WNBA off to a 67% winning start, and we've got our first elite level seven unit side, or I should say seven unit play, going on Sunday's card. There's a good chunk of games being played in the WNBA on Sunday, starting at 3 p.m. Eastern, 12 noon Pacific. One of those games Games happens to be a big seven unit play for us and we'll look to extend our run to 75% since we started jumping in to the WNBA this season. So that's all available on Sunday over at DocSports.com and don't forget about the Sunday night clash between the Bruins and the Blues. Will the Blues wrap up the Stanley Cup Finals at home in St. Louis? We've got our opinion our bet over at DocSports.com on Sunday morning 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific for all of those plays that I just mentioned. Quick report today by the way, we'll jump back into our NFL thumbnail sketches on Monday's report. But I'm going to look at the uh, free pick for today. We had an over yesterday that cashed between the Yankees and the Tribe. And today on Sunday, another total. We're playing the over between the D-backs and the Blue Jays. And in this particular pitching matchup between Robbie Ray and Clayton Richard, we got a couple of southpaws. And that's good news if you like offense in all likelihood. Listen, Arizona overall this season, for a good chunk of the season, has averaged over five runs per game. And when they go on the road against lefties, I mean, my gosh, they're just a scoring machine. Over seven runs per game on the road against Southpaws. And I think they'll be able to get to Clayton Richard. If you look at what Clayton Richard has done in his first three starts in Toronto after coming over from San Diego, he's yet to complete five full innings in any one of those three starts. Don't like the way he walks, guys. He's got like nine walks and 12 and two-thirds innings pitched. And I think he's going to get knocked around a little bit because of the lack of control by Arizona. On the flip side, you got Robbie Ray. Listen, this Robbie Ray ERA on the road, whatever else, has been fortunate. I think the luck runs out here. You can't keep walking batters the way Robbie Ray has done so and expect to have a low sub four ERA. I don't think it continues or at least I don't think he's going to have success here in this particular matchup. And listen, I know Toronto's run scoring has been down so far this season, but at home against Southpaws, they've been okay. They've been able to get the job done at the plate on the offensive side of things. So we're going to look for these two teams to go over that posted total of nine. Again, the total's nine. We'll like the over and again between Arizona and Toronto with a pair of lefties on the mound on Sunday morning. All right, listen, that's going to do it for us for Sunday. Listen, if you like these videos, be sure to click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. We do appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Sunday in the win column. I'll be right back here Monday, no later than 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific. 
Pacific will have our NFL thumbnail sketch available as we look to continue the NFC preview for the upcoming 2019 season on that report. We'll talk to you then.